blocking up, unhooking a loaded trailer. Wheeler's trailers are specifically designed to support the weight of a loaded trailer while being unhooked from the tractor. So long as the trailer is properly blocked up, there should not be issues when dropping a loaded trailer. However, problems will arise if the following procedure is not adhered to exactly. Begin with selecting a suitable position, and once established, you may start the unhooking process. Blocking up the trailer. There must be a total of four separate stacks of wood, two stacks on the driver's side, two stacks on the passenger side, going from the ground to the bottom of the trailer. You must place two stacks of wood right next to each other on each side. Make sure that the stacks of wood are placed under a supportive rail of the trailer, as it would be ineffective to put them on an expanded or unsupportive structure. Be sure that the wood is running parallel with the trailer. If this is not done, the trailer could roll forward and off the wood. Each stack of wood needs to be blocked tight, from the ground and up to the bottom of the frame rail, ensuring that each stack of wood is the same height. Once all four stacks of wood have been placed, it is time to put the support arms in place. Support Arm Placement these support arms are specifically designed for Wheeler's trailers. The arms are used only to keep the neck of the trailer from sagging and to support a maximum amount of 5 to 10 percent of the load. The arms need to be slid into the support bracket on each prospective side of the trailer. You must then place a block of wood under each supportive arm, as this helps to spread out the weight. Each arm must then be adjusted using the pin system. Be sure to put the clip on the pin and not to let it hang. There must be a one and a half to two inch gap between the bottom of the support arm and the block. The gap is necessary to put the prospective amount of weight on the support arms. Once all blocking and support arms have been properly placed, it is then time to unhook the trailer. At this time, you must unhook the air lines and electrical connections. you must unlock the fifth wheel. Be sure to check your surroundings for any obstructions. It is now time to dump the suspension of your truck. Once the suspension has been fully dumped, you may slowly move the truck forward. You must pull out very slowly to allow the trailer to settle onto the support arms. You must be sure to pull out straight as to not put any sideways force on the support arms. The tractor and trailer is now disconnected. Tips to consider. Make sure the ground surface is suitable to drop the trailer on. Ice can cause the trailer to move, or it could be an unsupportive surface for the blocking. Fresh asphalt is also very important to recognize, as the blocking could go right through the asphalt. The larger surface area that you have on the ground, the less chance there is for a problem to arise. Do not drop a trailer on any incline or any type of hill. Be sure that there is no gap between the wood and the trailer, and you have at least one and a half to two inch gap between the support arms and the block. Be sure that all cribbing is symmetrical on each side of the trailer to ensure that the trailer does not shift at all. Also, be sure that the trailer is being dropped in a location in which it will not be in the way as it could be bumped. By mastering the proper techniques for unhooking a loaded trailer, we can ensure that Wheeler's equipment will remain the best in class.